originally when we picked this story, I was hoping this would be a really good W. Because something weird happened. A clock, a broken clock was right. One of the two times a day it normally is. And um, I'm not really sure what to do with that. Because that's that's an interesting moment of, of I guess, moral growth or a very interesting... Um, political gambit but unfortunately some stuff's happened around it that now just still sours my entire view around it so let's take a look utah governor becomes latest to veto trans sports ban the move came just one day after indiana's governor also overruled legislatures on the matter so yeah let's get into it um Let's use the text to voice. Real that quick. sounds good. I'll save my fucking voice tonight. Yep. Salt Lake City. Nope. Let's try that again. Salt Lake City, AP. Utah Governor Spencer Cox vetoed a ban on transgender students playing girls' sports on Tuesday becoming the second Republican governor to overrule state lawmakers who have taken on youth sports in a broader culture war over how Americans view gender and sexuality. Cox joins Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb, who vetoed a statewide ban on Monday. I turned it down. Holcomb said Indiana's legislature had not demonstrated that transgender kids had undermined fairness in sports. I struggle to understand so much of it and the science is conflicting. When in doubt, however... True. I always try to err on the side of kindness, mercy, and compassion, Cox wrote in a letter to Utah legislative leaders. So, obviously, everyone who follows this channel is more than aware of the fact that Republicans are on the warpath to marginalize another group of evil, more so than they already have. And the way they've done this in the past was by sporting turfs into figuring out ways to screw trans women in, you know, uh, out of using the bathroom, uh, but that wasn't the most successful thing. So what they tried instead now is they're going the sort of um, irre irreversible damages route, right? Where they're either trying to protect girls or they're just trying to stop trans people from participating in sports. There is a lot of really things wrong here. Um, and while the science itself is, in my view, still conflictual, I also don't care because I would like people to be able to participate in sports. These are kids' sports. It's not like these kids are going to be like... <laughs> like, it's not like these kids are playing in the NFL. Like, just saying. And the other thing is, is like... <clears throat> to be super clear, that um, the idea that, like, some trans girl could get a scholarship that was, you know, quote-unquote, meant for a cis girl... Those people don't understand how transphobia works. I assure you they're going to count things against that poor girl. So, yeah, also sports don't matter cope. Agreed psychosocialism. True. But so this is a really interesting thing that uh, Governor uh, uh, Governor Cox did, right? Veto a statewide ban. Really cool stuff. Let's see what he had to say. The vetoes come as Cox and Holcomb's counterparts in nearly a dozen conservative-leaning states have enacted similar legislation and politicians have honed in on transgender kids in sports as a campaign issue in states ranging from Missouri to Pennsylvania. In Utah, minutes after the veto, legislative leaders announced they would convene lawmakers on Friday to further consider the bill and discuss overriding the veto. To succeed, they'll need support from two-thirds of lawmakers, which means they'll have to sway some who voted against the ban in the final hours before the state house adjourned for the year. Incoming transphobia. We cannot ignore the scientific facts that biological boys are built differently than girls. Oh. Doing nothing is taking a step backward for women. Finding a solution to this complicated issue is necessary to maintain fair competition now and in the future, Utah Senate President Stuart Adams said in a statement. And I want to be really clear on something. If these people really gave a shit about trans, like, uh, kids, right, they would be teaching comprehensive sex education to lower teen pregnancy rates. But this is Utah, run by the Mormons. Do you really think for a fucking second that these people, like, 
teach their kids anything about sex beyond make sure the lights are off and don't tell God. Right? Like, real quick, chat, if you can give it to me, I want to look at it. But what is Utah's ranking in teen pregnancy? I'm just curious. Um, but the idea that there's biological difference between boys and girls, actually, no. Before puberty, arguably, there are very little to none. Now, if they go through puberty, that is a different thing. But again, if you're going through hormone blockers, you either have interrupted puberty or they have stopped it altogether to allow the person to go through the puberty they desire, the one they experience as. Yeah, they just do abstinence only education, right? They set their set fires to a fucking tissue and are like, "This is the burning fire of pa uh, fire of passion" or some weird shit. There's an old episode of like Penn and Teller's bullshit that went over abstinence only education, and it it is it's horseshit and garbage. Yep. Um, good episode. Not not a fan of all their stuff, but good episode. Um. The issue was one of the most contentious of the year in a state where most lawmakers are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and respectful politics are prized as the Utah way. Deeply conservative leaders and LGBTQ advocates have brokered compromises to advance rights and protections in the past. But not this time. There are four transgender players out of 85,000 who are competing in school sports after being ruled eligible by the state's high school athletic association. There are no public concerns about competitive advantages. Only one competes in girls' sports. <laughs> one out of 85,000 kids is a concern here. We've got to waste lawmakers' time? Yeah, yeah, for that, yeah. It's ra ranked fourth in teen pregnancy, fourth from the top? Juan, no, is that, is that from the, is that like, is that four, fourth from the top? Because if that's fourth from the top, that's amazing literally proving my fucking point at my work there was a lady who's um not nah, trans people deserve to, okay fair enough got to turn off youtube chat totally forgot anyway so this is what the governor said and i think this is actually pretty based um again it's coming from republicans so bear with four kids who are just trying to find some friends and feel like they are a part of something four kids trying to get through each day cox said in the letter explaining his veto in which he cited suicide rates for transgender youth. Rarely has so much fear and anger been directed at so few. I don't understand what they are going through or why they feel the way they do. But I want them to live. Right? Did you guys get that last part? I want them to live. One thing I'm a big fan of is incentivization. And that is, is that if a Republican says some dumbass shit that ends up causing harm, we're going to call it out. We always do. But I also want to give a little gold star to the person who does what I think is a good thing. Now, there are people who will argue that this is bare minimum. I don't care. Bare minimum is still a passing grade. I still want people to do this. And this person, looking at the data, made an, a, a rational decision. Now, granted, probably in the rest of his political life, you know, not a, not not the case in all all situations. But that's really cool. So let's continue. Banning transgender kids from competition, their advocates argue, would have little impact on sports, but would send a wider, deeply painful message to already vulnerable kids that they don't belong in an important piece of American school culture. But supporters of a ban argue. Amid growing transgender visibility, more players could soon be in girls' leagues around the country and eventually dominate and change the nature of girls' sports. Good. Fuck them. You guys didn't care about girls' sports until trans people appeared. Seriously. We're going to keep going through this and then we'll kind of talk about it in more. In Utah, enough. the ban was introduced less than four hours before lawmakers were set to adjourn for the year, upending a year of negotiations over alternative requirements framed as a compromise. Those requirements would have allowed transgender kids to play after getting approval from a government-appointed commission. Governor Spencer Cox was on board, but the measure struggled to win support from social conservatives or LGBTQ advocates. Sue Robbins 
who serves on the Equality Utah Transgender Advisory Council, said the last-minute change came as a blow. We were trying to find a middle ground, she said. Then all of a sudden this comes about, it was kind of crushing. So, so essentially, this is really weird because someone goes against type and actually does the right thing. And then lawmakers seem to have then overruled what's happened. They enacted this. We'll cover it more in a minute, but they enacted the sports ban after GOP governor vetoed. This is what the uh, the governor, I guess, said about this. And uh... To go from all of this work, all of this discussion and all of these negotiations to get to a point that was uncomfortable for everyone but was a path forward and really represented the best of Utah, to now, on the last night of the session, out of nowhere, getting a complete ban that nobody's talked to me about is incredibly disappointing, he said minutes after lawmakers passed the ban. He also later said the bill would only invite a lawsuit that True. would bankrupt the state's high school athletics governing body. I mean, he's a Republican yeah. after all, so, you know, money, bottom line, yada, yada. So, here's the thing. So, apparently, they had that session. TMS says, apparently, Utah's teen pregnancy rate is really, actually pretty low. I would be really curious at what material factors there are that created that. I would be very curious. That is not intuitive. So apparently, but in a 21 to 8 vote by the Utah Senate and a 56 to 18 by the State House, Republicans circumvented him to enact the legislation. The Utah law states that a student of the male sex may not compete and a public school or local education agency may not allow a student of male sex to compete with a team designated of students of female sex in an interschola uh, interscholastic uh, athletic activity. If define, it defines sex as, bi, as the biological physical condition of being male or female, determined by the individual's genes and the ana, ana, anatomy at birth. Goes into effect in July. The law underwent a last-minute overhaul. In vetoing the bill on Tuesday, Cox said that the legislation around the issue that he had previously expressed support for underwent major overhauls propor, proposed in the last minute. That created the complete ban now on the books. It is to, important to note that a complete ban was never discussed, never contemplated, never debated, and never received any public input prior to the legislation bill. So these motherfuckers... Wait. These motherfuckers wanted to put in a bill, and then they went behind the governor's back and did it worse? Like, the fact that he was on board at some level is really fucked but the fact that he actually saw a line that's better than like 90 percent of people that are republican can we be clear on that like there's a line these people don't understand consent also this whole protection of women thing is really weird because they haven't given a shit about women ever well and again the actual data showing that like it's um trans trans mass kids right is the majority here that we're talking about in the state of utah like in sports, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be trans. Like, they, they, like, like right that now, really three, is the like actual seventy-five percent of them are trans baskets or non-binary. Yeah, right. And then like, but again, this is what we've talked about when we talked about trans misogyny. This is a perfect example. Yeah, it is. You demonize trans femmes as being deviant for not wanting to be men. And so what you do is you force them back into that perspective. So you're you're trying to beat the girls. You're doing something awful. You're doing something bad. So we define them as that. We misgender them. We define them as, as male. So they aren't allowed to compete. So we always other them. But nothing in here says anything about trans boys. Which, good for them. But this is awful. No, no it just absolutely ignores like the trans boys entirely, right? Like that weird thing that society does. Now, 
If I wanted to be cynical, I could say that the governor vetoed this bill so that he can look softer and more compassionate than his Republican counterparts. And as such, would give him the ability to show that he was doing well and make it less likely that he'll be voted out. That's the cynical part of me, because then he knew the legislature would do it anyway. But I want to take people on good faith and say, also, if he was supporting a bill that was a much lesser version of this, not a fan of that, but I don't actually know what that law said. I assume it wasn't great, and I'm going to continue under that assumption, but the idea that it is at some level... Like, it's at some level, like, they went behind his back to do this? Like, no, this feels like an actual political betrayal by his own party. And what's interesting is, is this last part of the bill says, this bill focuses on the problem of fairness in school, sport, school sports that simply does not exist, but its negative impact on the mental health and well-being of trans and non-binary youth are very real. These youth already face disproportionate rates of bullying, depression, and suicide risk, and bills like this one only make matters worse. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, because if he was being seen as actually working with trans people and then suddenly the legislature went behind him, yeah, that sucks because it could have actually been looked at as him, you know, going across the aisle, which is something no Republican has done. No, he did note that in his letter that he yeah. wrote. Um, that this, this may be a thing that does not, that makes it so he doesn't get reelected. Um, he did note that. Yeah. Yeah. If they had enough votes for that, I don't think appearing more centrist would earn him a lot of political merit. I mean, it could theoretically because most Republicans aren't, but it depends, I guess, on the area. The governor is not wrong about the lawsuits too. Utah is going to have to bleed a lot of money fending off litigation. Good. Let them bleed. I want every fucking drop. So beyond what we've already said, the, the reality of this is really simple. Xena and I are very clear in the fact that like, Kids' sports do not matter in the sense that they have any real effect on the world at large. What they have effect on is the world of a kid. A mm -hmm. kid has the ability to participate and compete and gain a sense of teamwork and a sense of connection. There are a thousand ways to handle this, some of them better than others. This is the worst possible way. This is not targeting some large epidemic issue of trans girls taking over women's sports. And I'll, I'll, I'll argue, I don't care if it did anyway. But the simple fact of the matter is, is that this is for kids, one of them that's trans femme. This isn't about protecting girls. It's about hurting kids. Something tr something mm -hmm. Republicans love doing. And to hear a governor actually say, to, say something to the effect of, I want them to live. Considering the current death cult that is the, the, that is the Republican Party. No, I'll give it to him. Based. Probably disagree with them on everything else, but you know what? Good. That's something we can agree on. I want them to live too. Cena wants them to live too. Mm -hmm. If you know any trans kids, give them a hug. Because this shit's rough. They don't deserve this shit. They don't. Right? Do well, and at the end of the day, like, it still just creates an overall fear campaign, right? Like, that's, mm -hmm. that's the thing. No, absolutely. It still fucks up your day-to-day -day life. Yep. Yep. So this is where we're at. Republicans targeting kids again and again. And not just in the Matt Gates way. Zing. Um, but again, we've said this a hundred times. We're going to keep saying it. Conservatives are a death cult. Either they are so interested in monetary gain that they do not care about the lives and the environment of people. They don't give a shit about things happening around them or they are absolutely morally bankrupt and live in an enti entirely fascistic and zealous world. Right. And so we'll give it, we'll give a gold star when we can. This was good. I'm really glad that governor, governor Cox, I believe his name was did this. That's really fucking cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. But again, fuck the Republican Party and fuck everybody in it who is voting for these laws 
because they know why they're doing it. They're going specifically after kids because kids can't defend themselves. It's the same reason why they defend abortion, because they can moralize about it and because fetuses don't ask for anything. They're the perfect marginalized group. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, consider donating to us. You can support us on our website, transgirltherapist.org. You can also help us on our Patreon, link below, or you can become a member here on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for watching.